that's gonna be your head to the no 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 look diva kika this is on you anybody get mad diva kika listen i've been busy i try to work from a schedule which goes like crazy okay but i love doing this when i have time i just happen to see in the comment section diva kika says uh she read somewhere that the kevin samuels or kevin as i call him now i'm not making fun of his death no I'm, you know i'm in, i'm indifferent but no 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 when i saw this uh died with a thousand dollars i must spend your house money right boo boo it, it had to be now no offense my day ones you know how we roll and i thought about it no offense intended and the market is down but y'all know the backup account right my day ones the video the backup account so y'all know my business no that's not my main account that is the backup account i said man so if he just had a thousand dollars i guess my backup account he would have thought he was balling and that's in case some stuff pop off grab some money account that was the backup account y'all saw the numbers i guess if he if he had 30 35k just as a backup in case some some pop off you gotta grab some quick he would have probably thought he was rich and i sure as hell ain't that you broke it on the backup account we got to have a conversation now at the end for the ones who've been rocking with me and i appreciate you and i love you i got we got a little jingle and i'm gonna put the little um put the words in the bottom of the description it's real quick but uh-uh no 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 uh, as one of the the commenters says, pretty kind of wait a minute. We're gonna have to wait a minute on this. So I had to do a little searching, and I just can't believe my my eyes. And this is a week ago, so I am truly late to the party. Say it ain't so. Say it isn't so. It isn't so. Oh. Say it isn't so. Oh. Say it isn't so. Oh, say, say, say. Oh, 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 Kevin, you playing with me? Look on the screen, look on the screen. I'm going to have to call the, basically, the king of Poverty D, because a lot of Poverty D men got suckered in, but it's okay. We even got some saying, hey, it's all a lie, it's a lot, but how do you know that? Are you with media takeout? I just said this morning on the video by Kevin. People had to, oh, he got some money, he got some money, he hiding it. I love our people, but some people that's too damn special. Don't know jack about finance. Are you kidding? Oh, he hiding it. Is it in the trust, boo-boo? Where's the trustee at? I could already peep this dude was not that kind of guy. That's why I said, you want to see some high value men, meet me in WPB, West Palm Beach, and I can show you, baby. I don't even think Kevin could afford the breakers. We looking more like the Holiday Inn and can't stay too long. This is crazy. Let's go ahead and get to it. I'm going to say this. I want, I'm starting to think now that most women that call in on the show probably had more than Kevin, and he's up here giving some direction on their lives. How are you going to tell somebody about a high-value man with you know nothing about? That's okay. Yuja Anya says, mm, mm, mm. Fair you. She says, Kevin Samuels told men their net, their worth was in their wallet. He died in a one-bedroom sublet. With less than a thousand dollars to his name, no partner, friend, or offspring willing to claim him. Only his poor mother begging and borrowing to bury his lonesome carcass. Mm, mm, mm. Died broke, deeply in debt. Wow. Some people got it down to my the apartment was what seven hundred square foot. Only a thousand dollars. But black women, they want to talk about you, boo. What? I don't understand. What? Again, don't forget something. Oh, he had the money. He had it. He had the money. How? 
If it's a money to be found, trust me, the IRS know all about it, boo-boo. A bank accounts are tied to your social. All right? They are tied to your social. So are brokerage accounts. Oh, I don't know, but you know, they think black women are stupid. That's why I don't know when you have a brokerage account besides a will, you ain't got to wait that darn long. It's a thing called TLD. Check it out. But black women are stupid. Time of death for them, boo-boo. How I know? Because hell, I've signed them in case something happens to me. In case something happens to me, I'm not a mom. I'm an aunt, but I can, I can promise you, sweetie. And I don't, I mean, I love my life, but if something happens to me, Somebody can leave that job. You ain't got to go back to work. I promise you. I'm an aunt, a proud aunt of four. I promise you. Hoping not. And I'm just a little person. Definitely not rich. Something happens to me, I can guarantee you. I already have it set in place. For the four, I have uh, a niece and three nephews. Something happens to me, I can promise you. It's not going to be, you know, well, we got to wait and get the wheel, get it probated and all that stuff. She got that little place and she got some cars. I promise you, you'll be able to leave that job. You ain't got to be worried about, well, you only get three days. I set a goal. And I'm a little person, maybe just a tad inch above broke, okay? I don't have a lot of money. So I'm, and I'm not wealthy. But I said, thing, I promise you within... Even when I was waiting on life insurance, within days, I have it set up because I have sacrificed and I've worked and I've invested and I don't try to be all fancy and all that. I do what I want to do. I may buy some stuff, as you all know, you, you know, you, you, you know, on the channel, but I promise you, uh, it won't be, well, I got to get back to work. You'll be sitting on six figures each. And how much is a job paying you? Might want to start a business, keep on working in investments. And I'm just a little person. Okay, just little old me, little black woman. But I know a little something about investments. Uh huh. Know a little something about that. So if I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. They can't find the money. Uh, brokerage accounts have a time of death form. Do you not have a signature card at the bank? There are avenues. Okay, if the money's in a trust, who's the trustee? Who's over the family trust? But they are, but everybody wants to think black women are slow. No. We're not slow. Mm -mm. And we didn't go for the Kevin Samuels. Okie doke. So I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. Oh, yeah. He had the money. He had the money. Hiding it where? He can't hide what's not there. Again, as I said in the video this morning, ask Robert Smith. He had the money. He had the money. Ask Robert Smith about hiding that money. And no offense to black men like Robert Smith wouldn't even deal with this. He'd be insulted. He'd want to go the other way because he know you just... You, I'm sorry, in my opinion, I'll just speak in general for people who get so upset about, you know, speaking about the disease, but it's like a pimp just selling you a dream. Just like a pimp selling you a darn dream. And then you wake up and boom, there goes your nightmare. Where the assets at? Media takeout, fair use. They reported doing a romantic encounter with a Caucasian woman he just met. Now we have some more tea about Kevin, who often described himself as a, quote, High value man, yeah, only in Blackistan. High value man and said that women would need to meet a high bar in order to get a man in his category. But it turns out that Kevin Samuels may have been broke. Well, if you ever got a thousand dollars, uh yeah, you think? Mm. Media takeout spoke with one of Kevin's friends who has been in touch with his family, and he claims that Kevin was deeply in debt. According to the friend, Kevin's family, family has been trying to identify all his assets. Lord have mercy, Jesus. And only been able to locate. I got to sit down less than a thousand dollars. It's embarrassing. So embarrassing. The seeds of poverty D. The average cremation years ago I heard was $800. Less than $1,000. The clutch from Gucci was that, what, a week ago? By the way, I called them. And y'all know, many of you know as well as I know, they had the information. They said, if they need anything else, they'll get back with me. Nothing yet. Nothing I need to do. I'm like, well, if you want to, I offer it. You can send a uh, shipping label. 
Now the box I already discarded, but I, I kept the box that came in. So, and they have all the information. Cause when you go in that store, in case just a quick update, they got that Gucci phone. They put your number in. Boop, it's gonna show up. Every, every they got your phone number, everything. So this for the record. I told y'all I called them last week. I haven't gotten a return shipping label. Happy birthday to me. All right. So this here is embarrassing. And I don't think our people understand that. Not even hood rich. A thousand. Trying to identify all his assets and only been able to come up with less than a thousand dollars. Do you not see how embarrassing this is? Because it goes beyond Kevin Samuels. And this is not true of every black man. But if he's the one they're looking up to and they couldn't see through the smoke and mirrors, it just feeds into a stereotype that we're not good with money, don't know how to handle money. It feeds into a stereotype. And that's what's embarrassing. And you the expert on a high value man. I cannot. This is so embarrassing on so many levels. So embarrassing. And some still trying to hold on to about the man got the money is hit. Hit him where, boo boo? Where's the bank account? Where's the brokerage account? Where is it? Hmm? Where is it? If Robert Smith can't hide money, he's a billionaire. What make you think this YouTuber can't really? And, and to me, that's sad too, because that tells me that that black person, wow, that's why I was actions speak louder than words. I'm not going to argue about it, but a black person is so bitter. Oh, no, he is. He got the money. <laughs> sure. Um, whatever you say. It's sad. Because, see, that's part of our problem. Don't want to accept reality. It's like saying one and one is two. One and one is two. Now it's time for the test. One and one is five. It's like, no, we told you to say it's two. But I want to be five. It's two. The Bible tears your stiff neck. So this here. Do you understand? I don't think our people understand how embarrassing this is. Now you see why Dr. Claude Anderson said black kids are what? Inheriting what? A beach house? Another house? No, inheriting dust. Black kids are inheriting dust, but I know we like popcorn knowledge, so we don't want to hear Dr. Claude Anderson. Everything that man said is in the book. It's, it's, it's come to pass. Bottom of the barrel still. What did he have to leave to his daughter? That's why I said, man, black of stand, the thinking pattern. Sometimes the people you're around is good to look at, think outside the box. Everybody I know, I, most of the white people I know, they all have trust funds. I don't, that's fine. I all have trust funds. And I don't mean some trust fund with a hundred thousand dollars in it. Now, that, now, that's some little stuff like a little person like me might come up with, just to be honest with you. Okay. No, they got trust funds. And a hundred thousand, you a zero. It's, they have trust funds, millions of dollars. Mm hmm. And maybe it's, the, the, you know, like I said, the, the caliber, which I get it. But it's like, wow. And I'm not saying we all have to have that. But what is the inheritance? What are we leaving behind for the children? People tell me, I won't be holding up for those kids. Those aren't your kids. Those are not your children. Don't be holding it. No, don't, don't do that. Hmm, their opinion. But you're leaving yours something. <laughs> I, I got you. I see you. And I tell you, and I hear that with, you know, with black people. I do. I hear that with black people. Why you them something? Those are not your kids. You need to see about you and I get, which I do. 
You know, I'm not like, you know, handsome out like, oh my God, I can barely fit myself. Oh, no, 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 no. But I do that because that's what I'm around and I've been exposed to it. And I just want to make sure the ones after me, because I don't have any children, if I had a kid, which I never really want, I never want to have kids, even being married. I just, not what I want to do, kind of like my life the way it is. And that's just me. Okay. But I know kids are expensive. So I want to make sure that I leave something behind for someone. I believe in life insurance. My grandmother did. My dad did. Uh, I've had life insurance on me since I was 25 years old. Mm-hmm. Just always plan. That's how I'm wired. And that's why I say it's good to leave Blackistan because this here, here's a sad thing. The sad thing is it's not even the, it's, it's the norm. We heard a black man left some, what, what? It's the norm. A high value man with only a thousand dollars in his hand. This is, it's really embarrassing. It's not funny. It's sad. Now you see why some, I totally, I get it now. When they come up with, um, they're paying $35 a month in child support. I got it. So care to see the poverty D, I feel for this man's mother. I saw a report that someone said he called his mother ugly. I feel, Lord Hammer, now she got the burying. Only his poor, this says he died. Look, only his, believing his poor mother begging, barring to bury. Kevin, Kevin. Oh. Lord, make the madness stop. A thousand dollars. And if the mother has to beg for that. Obviously her husband or whoever the man is. Has left her with nothing. Has to beg. I'm done. Oh, say it isn't so. This here is just embarrassing. I would, to be honest with you, I'd rather hear about the money than so that somebody, that somebody somewhere is financially literate. But this, I can't, I, oh, it's sad. Sad and embarrassing. But that's what we do in the hood. We fake the funk. We love to pretend. Anyway. I'm hoping this will be the last video on this because simply said, I can't take no more. I got to go. But hey, hey, hey. I don't mean to sound depressing, but you understand my point? This speaks volumes, man. This speaks volumes. It does. It speaks volumes. Every day we just give each, we give the kids, especially, the, I'm sorry, more than the men, because the you're supposed to be leaders of black eye. The report is dying broke. So this probably explains why we haven't heard about a fanfare funeral. I saw something on the internet about a memorial, what, on the 15th or something? Wow. Sad. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do just this jingle. And this is just for ladies. They trying to put you down, child. It's no weapon formed against us with these little um, podcasts putting us down, saying we're not worthy, trying to bring self-esteem. It's not going to work. And you're right. A lot is being revealed. So I just can't. Let's go ahead and get to this jingle. Ladies and gentlemen, one moment. And then I'll put the words in the description button in case y'all want to sing along with a sister. Uh-oh. <clears throat> okay. And here <clears throat> we go. It's called Don't Be a Dusty with Zero Worth. Thank <laughs> you.
Don't be a dusty with zero work. Just run around being but hurt. You can't get by with a thousand dollars. You can't get by with a thousand dollars. Dusty, no investments, insurance policy, king of poverty. You can't get by with a thousand dollars. You can't get by with a thousand dollars. Dusty, with zero work. Just run around causing women hurt. You can't get by with thousand dollars. You can't get by with a thousand dollars. Dusty, no investments, insurance policy, king of poverty. You can't get by with a thousand dollars. You can't get by with a thousand dollars. Dusty.